Hello, we're going to focus on the learner standard. In particular, the educators continually improve their practice by learning from and with others and exploring proven and promising practices that leverage technology to improve student learning. Let's take a look at an example to see how this works. For this example, we're going to take a look at the indicator here of set professional learning goals to explore and apply pedagogical approaches made possible by technology and reflect on their effectiveness. And in particular, you're going to be seeing a lot of examples in this short little video. To give a little bit of context, this is a project-based learning project infusing authentic experts and voices in learning, uh, future college and career readiness, uh, through the driving question of what are the ingredients required to survive regardless of time, space, and place. And in particular, we're using sixth grade classroom a media specialist and an educator and the students to make this happen. As educators, I work with the media specialist and the classroom teacher. We have a, a Google document from PBL Works, a project planner, that we are collaborating synchronously and asynchronously to provide the skeleton for the learning for all the students. And we meet both in person and outside of class um, to make this work happen. We've also used a green screen and iPhones and, and iPads to use technology as we are having the students reflect their learning process on a daily basis. We are using this as a way to tell the story, provide class and action videos, and to provide examples for people who need to see how this type of learning and teaching can actually be impactful. But we haven't forgotten the most important technology, and that is that of human connection. So we're not, while we're doing a lot of technology and digital stuff, analog is vital. And in this case, we sit in a circle of support and reflection, and every day we end in a circle um, sharing our thoughts or ideas on new learning. We are in a space creating a learning environment where it's not a competition. We're all in this together to come up with real solutions for real problems. The ingredients that we are using in this case is what I call purposeful play based on the Lego Education Foundation. And in here, what we are doing is bringing hands-on learning to go through and make sure that expression, teaching, and learning can be expressed in different modalities to benefit all learners. Not only are we using purposeful play, but we are also, our big end goal is to rethink our educational approach to learning. And so we're doing stuff, we're, we're, we're getting kids trained in Scrum by, you know, by, by an agile trainer. We're going to be looking at businesses that use this. We're, we're creating ideas, we're breaking it all down, we're starting again. This whole constant cycle of being a lifelong learner, of learning, revising, and going, and repeating, and doing, um, is vital. And we have to intentionally build these moments into the spaces. Another key aspect, both through digital uh, ebooks and paper copies and digital tools such as Book Creator and Google Docs and Wakelets and Padlets, is we are merging the concepts of social studies, literacy, and STEM all together. They're not being taught in silos, they're being an integrated approach where the kids are seeing different perspectives and how no matter what we explore in the world, there's always a thread or a through line. And to do that, we use tools like Zoom. In this case, we're working with you with Chaz Polly, Explorer of the Year, who has hiked the Zambezi River and hiked across Madagascar um, to help us understand this concept that we're studying of survival, in his case, being an explorer and the mindset and the skills and the dispositions that go into survival that we can apply as we study ancient civilizations into our own lives as educators, the lives of students, and just thinking about what the future holds. And not only are we doing just one-stop shops, we have partnered with NASA, building our, our, our network, our experts and our teachers we can bring to the classroom. And we are doing weekly connections where the kids get to speak with people from NASA to refine their ideas and learn more that you can only get through a primary source opportunity like this of actually working with NASA to make our ideas come to life. And as a result of this, myself, the media specialist, and the educator, we are constantly pushing our own learning and boundaries. We meet every single day, sometimes before school, after school, through email, through text, through our, our documents, and we are creating a website where we're going to document this entire process because we want people to see the power of this learning. Because just to walk by a classroom, you wouldn't understand. You've got to see and experience the whole project. 
So we're using STEM, we're using project-based learning, we're using competency uh, scales, we're using universal constructs, we're using all sorts of things that we've learned about in little siloed PD here and there, being told to read this book or read this article or do that or do this. And we're actually doing it and infusing it in a way where if we can pilot and make this work, then we can spread the information to other educators so they can experience the power of this teaching for our students to learn at new levels.